What's going on everybody and welcome to Stylish Grease Monkey and yet another video. This is a continuation of my other video I released just a few mo moments ago in regards to my mini restoration of the JC Penny Loafers. Stand by. Alright guys, before we start, remember if you're new to my channel, just a quick thing, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. The numbers are rising and before you know it, we're going to have all of these men on my channel for men style grooming, a little bit of my cigars and my future, my future on building cars, trucks and motorcycles. I know if you're that kind of man, you're going to like that. I've made a lot of videos about my boots, my shoes, my watches, and I'm going to continue to make them for you. So please come back, like this video, share it. That's all I have. This video right here is all about the penny loafers. And aside from the boat shoes, penny loafers is one of my go-to semi-casual shoes because it is very versatile you know you can wear it with any kind of outfits right you can wear it with trousers dress pants you can wear it with jeans blue jeans black jeans white jeans whatever have you you can wear it during the summertime you can wear it during the spring winter it broke a while back because i br i used it in the rain and uh you know the bottom just separated from the top of it I've showed you that in my first video, but a quick recap. Um, the bottom sole just detached totally from the top of the shoe, and I was quite surprised that J. Crew did not sew the sole to the actual shoe. So I don't know what's up with that, but it broke. I fixed it. If you want to see the video on how I fixed that, then you can click somewhere above here. I'll post that up here or down in the uh, description below. So this video right here is particularly and specifically just for cleaning it and getting it ready for wear. So after I fixed it, this is the status of the shoes. As you can see, it's a little bit rougher and dirtier. I don't know what happened to the front here, but I'll fix that too. There are still remnants of the glue I will remove that, I will clean it. Like any other work, the right tools. You've seen me use this before. I know I was told not to use saddle soap because it's very harsh for the leather, but you will see here that I don't let that sit in my leather. I use saddle soap because it removes a lot of the stains and the oils and things like that. It's on the surface of the shoe easily. I love using this product because it's easy, it's cheap, it's fast. Again, the key here is to be quick. Make sure that water doesn't sit on the leather because water seeps into nooks and crevices and destroys the leather. Destroys the surface of the leather, destroys the insides, makes the adhesive brittle, soft, and then eventually it'll fail just like it failed the first time around. Real quick guys, this is a, an overview of the cleaning process. You are showing off the finished product, but if you wanna watch this video on full view from start to finish, I will post an ASMR video separately from this video so that you can enjoy that. For those of you that enjoy ASMR videos like I do, I will post that on a separate post. Here I'm just going over file, trying to even up those uh, scratched up front of the shoes uh, so it's not so obvious when I apply some black ink or Sharpie. Um, I'm gonna mention Sharpie here now because you can see me use Sharpie. That's just one of my hacks. Uh, to blacken some parts of the sole because the sole is black. So here, still going through the same shoe. 
I think this is the other side now and I'm just cleaning it using, you know, little areas at a time, using the saddle soap, cleaning it. Here's the Sharpie guys. You know, you have to have hacks, right? So my hack is using Sharpie on the areas that are light, uh, such as the area that I sanded right there on the front, you can see it's light. So you use this just for touch up. Um, there's like a welting around the shoe uh, that's all scratched up. So using Sharpie makes it black again. Looking good. Starts to look good now. Here's some leather lotion, leather milk, honey, whatever you want to call it. Made from kiwi. Really good about restoring the surface of the leather. Makes it nice and soft. Uh, use it sparingly. Don't use it too much because it'll make it really soft. You just want to, you know, refresh in the, the leather, right? Here, Applying the lotion makes the leather darker uh, and removes some of the scratches, which I was very surprised. So what I wanted to do was use black polish to finish the bottom of the shoe, uh, just to you know get rid of the lighter black color and the dirt or the dryness that the soap had created with the sole. So this works very well. Just be careful you don't get it on the brown area. You can see here in the background, there's also a brown kiwi. What I'm going to do is I'm going to apply very light, right? Very light. And this is probably the only time I will apply this. Reason being is that there's dye in the, in that uh, brown leather shoe shine and fills in more of the scratches and some of the uh, light areas. Big difference guys. If you look at my other video, when I started, the leather is quite dry. It's been left alone for a little while. Here it's got a little bit of shine to it. I don't want to shine it too much, but I love the color that was brought back with it. Very satisfied with it. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that video. Again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I will make more videos about shoes, about boots. I have videos waiting to be released on making watch bands, leather watch bands, and things like that. So again, this channel is about men's grooming, about men's style, and everything else that comes in between. I'll talk to you later.